Alright, so what's going on everyone? It's our Reindeer X here coming at you with a more Cookie Run Kingdom. Yeah. So we're gonna go in and continue on the Holiday Express. We finally do chapter four. It finally opened. I mean it opened three hours ago, but that was like yesterday, but whatever. So let's go. Hopefully there's no distractions, let me just make sure. Oh yeah, so I'm on uh, version 6 on this anyway, so we'll get back to that. I've been waiting for you. Uh, okay, so chapter 4. Something doesn't add up. Here we go. Yeah, chapter 4. Something doesn't add up. The mystery was solved so fast. The chain of events followed my story. And creme brulee cookie. In my manuscript, the pianist was the culprit. He took his revenge on a cookie who ruined his performance, but in the end, confessed the truth. Unlike creme brulee cookie. It is true that no one can confirm creme brulee cookie's alibi. And yet, why is this sense of uncertainty gnawing at me? Uh, I think she's having second thoughts now. <laughs> What am I missing? I have to go back to the beginning. After supper, Creme Brulee Cookie and I switched rooms. Later, Creme Brulee Cookie's sheet music disappeared. Creme Brulee Cookie suspected Old Jolly of the theft and confronted the Sugar Gnome. Right. At midnight, most cookies gathered for the tree lighting ceremony. The conductor was in the electrical room working on the illumination. Yeah, that's true. At the same time, Old Jolly was preparing the gifts in the suite. That's when the gnome was confronted by Creme Brulee Cookie once more. Okay. Creme Brulee Cookie finds the sheet music in Old Jolly's suite and, in the heat of passion, hits the gnome with the candy cane. Old Jolly is out cold, and Creme Brulee Cookie decides to leave the body and hide in his own room. This narrative is completely logical. In all but one thing. Why would Old Jolly steal the notes? They don't present any value whatsoever. That is true. Besides, I have no doubt that Creme Brulee Cookie can perform without the sheet music. He knows his pieces by heart. The disappearance of the notes could have come across as a nuisance, but... Could it really lead Creme Brulee Cookie to committing the unthinkable? That is the question. Something here doesn't add up. I'm out of paper. I think I had some left right there. Oh? Isn't this Creme Brulee Cookie sheet music? Did I bring it here? No wonder. The envelope is just like the one I keep my manuscript in. I should bring it back. But look! The sheets are all shuffled up, and there are no marks of jam. So it couldn't be Crumbly like Cookie. Hey, Miss Linza Cookie? Ah, Royal Bear Jelly. How may I help? I'm offering hot, fragrant tea to the passengers. Would you like a cup? How nice of you. Thank you. Who would have known such a horrible thing could happen aboard our Holiday Express? <laughs> Miss Linza Cookie, you have my thanks for helping to solve this the gruesome face. mystery. <clears throat> Are you comfortable in your suite? Can I do anything for you, Miss Linza Cookie? This is Creme Brulee Cookie's room, after all. We could find you another one, if you would like. Huh? Oh, no need. I'd like to rest for a while, that is all. Oh, of course, of course. I, I will not bother you further. Have a good evening. I never informed the conductor about the fact we switched our suites. That is true. Moreover... When Royal Bear Jelly went to wake up Creme Brulee Cookie in the morning, 
He found the switched room without any trouble. Suspicious. All right, next scene. Uh, talk to Crumb Boy Cookie. Part two. All right, for scene four to talk with Crumb Boy. Something doesn't add up. I need to talk to Crumb Boy Cookie. Crumb Boy Cookie, are you in? What's going on? Ah, uh, Linzer Cookie. What are you trying to do? You may escape from the car, but you can't jump off a moving train. Don't <laughs> look at me like that. I'm begging you. I'm not a fool. I simply was trying to reach you. Reach me? What for? I didn't do it. I had to make you trust me. The true culprit is still at large. But I'm not a detective. Besides, why would I believe your words? Of course not. But I've seen the look in your eyes back there. That look when you can't make sense of your story. Right. <laughs> what? My novels are impeccable. And such is my deduction. And yet, you see right through me. This is why I'm here. Crumbula Cookie, I know, wouldn't do something like this. of my sheet music. Aside from the cover, they're in utter chaos. <laughs> As suspected, it wasn't creme brulee cookie. A professional pianist would never leave their sheet music in disorder. That is true. Especially a perfectionist like creme brulee cookie. <laughs> Another thing. Did you, by any chance, inform the conductor about switching our rooms? I didn't. I had no time running around chasing my notes. Also, why would I? In that case, how did Royal Bear Jelly know? Switched rooms? Shuffled notes? Linzer Cookie, did you hear what I just said? Hmm? I'm sorry? Lost in thought again, huh? I said that it's very hot in this car. Oh, indeed. I know that you prefer lower temperatures. Only cold cream can make the perfect creme brulee. Cold air makes me more focused before going on stage. Right. I will ask Royal Bear Jelly to lower the heating. Hmm. Was a sugar gnome feeling cold? This room is intolerably hot. My cheeses will positively melt away. The room was all heated up, and much hotter than here. Too much for old Jolly wearing the hat and gloves. Yeah. <laughs> but why the temperature? Did something have to be melted? Linzer Cookie! Uh, do forgive me. Do you know who the culprit might be? Even if I knew, I couldn't tell. At the moment, everything points at you. But possibly not you alone. And I will discover the truth. Meanwhile, stay here and don't attempt to escape. I never tried. But fine. I will be here playing the piano. I still believe I will be able to perform at the Grand Holiday Concert. Unless you are the culprit, that is. Scene 4 3, Detective's Hunch. Interesting. Detective, are you sure we came to the right conclusion? Yeah, how about that? 
Hmm. Is something bothering our brilliant sleuth? I just have a hunch we're missing something. But I don't know what just yet. That is the question. A hunch, huh? Spoken like a true detective. <laughs> I am a true detective. But unlike you, Detective Cheddar Cheese, I'm more used to operating on facts rather than intuition. But now, my gut tells me something else is at play here. And once we've arrived at our destination, I'll turn this train upside down if that is what is needed to find the conclusive evidence. <laughs> but can we request help? Uh-huh. I'm sure HQ would just love that. Two CBI detectives were not enough to crack one measly case. <laughs> Yes, you're right. A and we can't reveal who we work for to the civilians, especially while this case is ongoing. That is true. But I just know it! <clears throat> What's that? There's something under the tree between the gift boxes. Bring it here. But you're closer than... Huh? What's this? A remote control? Turned on the lights on the tree! Wow! There are so many elaborate light settings on this thing. The timing, the order, it's pretty advanced. Yeah. <laughs> huh. I wouldn't expect less from a luxurious train like this. Now, wait a minute! With a remote like this, you don't really need to be in the electrical room. And look at the holiday tree macaroni cookie. Doesn't it seem like a particular ornament is missing? Hmm. Oh, okay, so we're just going to the next one. I like, I just like that. It's pretty cool. All right, uh, on to the next one. Investigating the conductor's quarters. There's something suspicious about royal jelly. Royal bear jelly. I need to check his room. Someone ripped this paper to spread to shreds. Maybe try piecing them together? Mystery novelist lends your cookie. It's rather incomplete. But judging by the length and shaky handwriting, you can tell the sender is a huge fan. train passengers and their respective suites. Lancer Cookie's suite is circled in red, perhaps because he's a loyal fan? A master key that allows you to unlock any suite in the train, though not everyone seems to leave with their door locked. Prized possession, the complete works of Lindsay Cookie. He must be a loyal fan. He has even as he even has one of the one of her earliest short stories. Only select books have stickers. Why though? And then there were 
or no cookies. Two, the post cookie always rings twice. And three, this, the sign of the four cookies. And four, the adventure of six cookies. drawer containing his personal items. It's locked. The passcode. What could it be? Scissors for trimming mustaches. It's particularly new. The wrapped the wrapper from the Twinkle of Lights remote controller and its manual. This device allows one to illuminate the holiday tree whenever wherever. Little bear jelly's handkerchief. Sticky and wet with royal jelly sweat. Uh, Persimming out of anxiety and heat. And the investigation. I suppose that's it for now. Okay. On to the next one. I'm sorry, I'm going chapter by chapter here, but it's fine. Uh, doctor's Quarters. Alright, scene four or five. Conductor's Quarters. Well, so well, go. well. Miss Novelist. Looks like the clues brought us all to the Conductor's Quarters. <laughs> Yes. Would you take a look at this? I think it's a manual for... The state-of-the-art holiday tree remote control. With a toy like this, one can set the program, press a button, and sit back watching it do its thing. And for an hour, no less. Coincidentally, the entire duration of the ceremony. Oh. Looks like our esteemed conductor's alibi just went out the train window <laughs> but why was it lying under the tree the conductor wouldn't leave such a crucial thing lying around unless in a great hurry was there anything missing from the holiday tree yes it looks like an ornament was missing uh, do you know which one why do i have a feeling we will find said ornament in old Jolly's sweet. Oh. Okay. And the last one, the truth revealed. Let's go. This is the last one of this scene. Scene four or six, the truth revealed. Let's go. Jeez! Is it hot in here or what? Indeed. <laughs> it's significantly hotter inside than in other parts of the train. But what for? What could be the purpose of cranking up the thermostat? To melt something down? <gasps> ah, 
Of course it's cherry jam. I'm no cookie, and I have cherry jam flowing inside. Of course. Old Jolly is a sugar gnome, not a cookie. Oh, I'm sorry? What Linza Cookie is trying to say is... Detective! You can't just pick up the weapon, let alone wipe the strawberry jam off of it. Indeed. It would be most foolish of me to disturb the crime scene before the forensics. Only, it's not real strawberry jam. This has been cracked up. Break the thermometrist has been cracked up to melt something. And, and, and the answer is right under our noses. Another one. Uh, got it. It's kicked twice, apparently. I don't know why. The second one, and then it's this one. Okay, it's that one. I don't know why. It's just ridiculous. I'm not even gonna like question it. The jam on the candy cane isn't old jobs. We have all the answers we need. Jolly carrying a slightly different candy cane. Do you know? Of course, the missing ornament. Uh, okay. Precisely. The culprit used fake strawberry jam to disguise the candy cane. This cane is neither as polished nor as scuffed as the real one. But why would the culprit disguise the cane? And where is the real one? I believe I have the answers to these questions, detectives. After all, I take pride in my ability to connect the dots. Do you know? The fake jam and the candy cane? The missing sheet music? They all might seem random, but in fact, these are all pieces of the same puzzle. And only with all the gaps filled, these pieces form a complete picture. Okay. Beer, chapter four, yay. <laughs> all right, we grab this. All right, I'm gonna do this thing off screen, so. I think that's going to be it for now. So that's the uh, end of this one. Uh, hit that like button. Also subscribe. We can reach 10 subscribers. Yeah, please. That would be nice. All right. 
So anyways, excuse me. Bye.